Alrighty guys and gals, Gunshy More back here with another Taming Guide video where today we are going to be looking at the Cosmo, which you all know dropped with the Bob's Tall Tales and Aberration today. Now, just to get this out of the way, I did manage to find the spawn code and I do realize that's probably a big reason why a lot of you guys are here. So I'm going to put that up on the screen now just to get it out of the way. So there it is. So, for now, where the Cosmos spawn, from my little investigation here that I did in exploring the map, it appears that the Cosmos spawn up in the green zone, and they also spawn down in the blue zone. Now, I didn't see any in the pink zone, so maybe I'm wrong. There might be some there, but it seems like they only spawn up in the green and the blue. So, anyways, now let's get on to the actual taming. Alrighty, now before we start the taming on this, I do got to do one little disclosure. My taming speed multiplier is going to be set to 5 for this video. The reason why is because in all my testing here on just single player, even with single player settings turned off, um, the Cosmo at 150 is basically untamable because it will starve faster than you can feed it. And as I can tell right now, this might just be an imbalance in the Cosmo. So yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a heads up. So now to begin here with taming a Cosmo, what you are going to need is some chitin and also a ghillie suit just so that way any wild creatures don't aggro to you. And what you're going to want to do is approach your cosmo and you're going to wait for him to do this little emote here he's going to light up the area around him and then you can approach him and feed him now he is going to run off here after your first feed do not chase after him wait for him to stop and build this little mound now you guys are going to play a little game of red light green light now if you didn't play red light green light when you were a kid you didn't have a childhood the rules are simple do not move when the lights are red when the light turns green you may approach the Cosmo. You can also sprint during this process to speed it up. And all you are doing is sprinting up to him and basically feeding him whenever you have a green light. It is a fairly easy process. And as you guys know from my previous segment, I am on five times taming rate. And I am going to explain that to you guys here real quick on why. It's just because on official settings, uh, Cosmos at 150... I could not tame it fast enough before it would start starving. Now, I don't know if this is just a bug right now, but it just seemed like it was impossible because I would get it up to like 20% and then it would be so low on food that it's losing taming and it's, yeah, it's basically was just impossible. Now, as you guys can see here, again, the taming process is extremely easy. You just don't move when the light is red. If you sprint up fast to him as well, fast enough up to him, uh, you can just kind of feed him immediately. That also depends on how far he went to go build his mound. Um. Oh, also one thing I did not mention. If you move when the light is red, the Cosmo will quickly do an attack on you and stun you. Um, and then he will go run off and he will build another mound and you will just continue the feeding process. So it's not like the entire taming is ruined. Um, you will lose some effectiveness from it, but yeah, that's all about, that's about all that happens. I thought I was feeding you. Come on. I think it needs two more feeds here. Yep. We're on the last one. So he's going to run off here. You can kind of walk after him, but I don't recommend it because it can get a little buggy. I remember one time I was walking after him and it seemed like he ran all the way across one of these uh, these top parts. Ooh, don't move, don't move, don't move. I just, I moved an inch closer right as it turned red and it scared me. And then wha-bam. That there is how you tame yourself up a Cosmo. It is a fairly simple process. And again... Um, everything, all my settings are official settings except the taming effectiveness. So my taming multiplier was changed to a five times instead of a one times. I am just sorry about that. I did want to just show you guys the taming process. Unfortunately, with how it is right now, I can't show you the taming process on a 150 like I normally do. 
just because it's a little bugged. Alrighty guys, so now for controls here on the Cosmo, what we have here in the right reel is some new icons. So first off here, you will notice that we have a charge infused webs. Now what this does will, again, it will infuse your webs with charge and you can shoot creatures that are scared of charge with it. And I believe if I'm correct, it shoes them away. I might be wrong on that. But then as well, we also have turn threat sense on or off. Now, again, this is just threat sense. I'm pretty sure it highlights any nearby enemies. Um, I really have not gotten to test it yet or figured out how it works. But for the controls here that I actually have figured out on the Cosmo, if you pick it up and actually put it on your shoulder here, you're going to notice there on the left side there, you have a little Cosmo icon pop up. Now, what that is, is this. You get a little Cosmo wrist shooter. Now, this is how you're able to access the swinging ability of the Cosmo, and you just have to equip it to your hotbar. Now, as well, one last thing. If you hold R, you do also get access to the threat sense and the charged web, so that way you can toggle them while you have it on your shoulder. But if I hit one real quick and equip the Cosmo, he is now on my wrist. And if I hit right click, nothing happens. If I hit C, I just crouch. Control, nothing, R, it will change your shoot mode. So you can use R to change the shoot mode. Now, as you guys can see here, I am in the shoot mode. Wa-bam, wa-bam. I want to see if there's any difference in the look of the web with that stuff turned off. Not from what I can tell. Okay, so we got charge there. Okay, so that's the uh, no charge web. Now this is the charge didn't fused. Boom. And as you can see, it leaves a little ball of charge. And I'm pretty sure that's also a little bit of a light source. So I'm pretty sure if you hit anything with it, it will damage it. Now, as well, we do got the one thing everyone was excited about. The swing mode. Now, if I just quickly hit left click. <laughs> yeah, if I hit left click, it just shoots out the web. And you can kind of uh, pull back on it. Um, I haven't tested to see if you can grapple on to like Quetzals or anything like that. But from all my tests, it is basically just a bit of a, a Spider-Man ability. So, yeah. Oh, hold up. Was that, was he sucking in? I didn't know. But it's best if you're like on a cliff and you're falling. Because then you can grapple and then you can swing around. And now you may notice here as well that the ammo capacity on your uh, Cosmo is 47. I do not believe there is a way to increase that. I believe it is capped even at 150 at 47 ammo. And I believe that is just so that way it is a bit nerfed off the bat. Just so that way it's also not overly like, you know, broken. So you're not the entire time swinging around and what from what i can tell it's not like the what are they the blood stalkers web where you can like suck yourself in or like a grapple hook because i hit c i've hit v i've hit spaced z does nothing c does nothing control oh hold up i was wrong so if you hit control you will actually it works like a grapple hook and you will zoom in and well, bam. Now, is there a descend option? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out. Will that descend me? C, space. Okay. I haven't been able to find a descend option. What about shift? Will shift send me down? Yes. Shift will actually... Okay. So it is exactly like the crossbow. Okay. I don't know why I didn't try that in my testing. So if you hit control or shift, control will dra uh, draw you in. And shift will extend you out. Which, that is just awesome. So, it's quite literally a grapple hook. And as well, from what if I recall in the dossier, I don't think it requires it. I believe it doesn't. It's just, uh, is it using its food for it? Let me access the pet. Yeah, it's consuming the food. So, to generate the web, it consumes food. But, unlike what the dossier said, you do not have to feed it webbing from other creatures to uh make it generate its own web but yeah 
I'm having a little bit of fun here spider manning around. I hope this guide here was able to help you guys figure out how to tame your own little Cosmo. And if it did, please do leave a comment in the description. And also, I do have a Discord, so go please drop your screenshots. Show me your Cosmos. I want to see the cute little buggers. But yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshy Mori. Signing out. Peace.